In this video, PCA is going to send a packet to the internet because the destination IP address is on another network. So in this case, the source MAC address is that of PCA. The destination MAC address is that of the router of 000D. So the Ethernet frame is sent to switch S1. Switch S1 receives the frame, examines the source MAC address, which is in its MAC address table. So it just simply refreshes the five minute timer. It examines the destination MAC address and because that destination MAC address is not in the MAC address table of switch S1, it floods it out all ports. PCB receives the Ethernet frame and because the destination MAC address does not match its own MAC address, it does not accept the rest of the frame. Switch S2 receives the Ethernet frame examines the source MAC address, which is in its MAC address table, so it also simply refreshes the five minute timer. It examines the destination MAC address of the frame, which is not in its MAC address table, so it floods it out all ports. PCC gets the Ethernet frame, and because the destination MAC address does not match its own MAC address, it does not accept the rest of the Ethernet frame. The router receives the Ethernet frame, and because the destination MAC address does match its own MAC address, it accepts the rest of the frame. Now we'll look at the Ethernet frame coming from the router back to PCA. The source IP address is the IP address actually of a device on a remote network. The source MAC address is that of the router at 000D, and the destination MAC address is that of PCA. The frame is sent to switch S2. S2 receives it, examines the source MAC address, which is not in its MAC address table, so it adds it. It then examines the destination MAC address, which is in its MAC address table, so it forwards it out port 1. S1 receives the Ethernet frame, examines the source MAC address, which is not in its MAC address table, so it adds it to its MAC address table. It examines the destination MAC address, which is in its MAC address table, so it goes ahead and just forwards it out port 1 towards PCA. PCA examines the destination MAC address, and because it is a match, it accepts the rest of the frame. 